la da 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 Hey guys, Blender Beetle here. Welcome to another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about the eraser tool because I'm not yet ready to do the selection tool. So the eraser tool works a little differently in each of the different layers. So I'm going to show you all three of them today, starting with the raster tool. I have, let's just turn off those. I have five frames on each. This is because at the time of starting this tutorial, I planned on showing frame range and I plan on still trying, but it hasn't been working. So we'll see what happens when we get to it. Stay tuned. You'll notice in the top we've got the toolbar and it's got size, hardness, opacity, normal, invert, and frame range. And just to be specific, this is in the raster level. So the size is pretty straightforward. It's just the size of your eraser. Erases just normally. Um, one thing I've noticed is if you click on the right side, it will go, if you click on the right side of your little uh, controller here, it'll go up by 10. If you click on the left side, it'll go down by 10. So a nice nifty easy way of quickly changing your brush size. The hardness has to do with how hard or soft the edge is and I'm just gonna real quick I need a bigger brush. Draw something here so I can show you when your hardness is all the way up you're gonna get a really crisp very straight line or rather just a very hard edge. That's why it's called hardness. If it's at zero, you're going to get a very soft edge. You're going to end up with kind of a blurry edge. So if that's what you're going for, work with your hardness. I tend to go with something in the middle or completely hard depending on what I'm going for. It also has the clicking to right and left, but for some reason it increments in point in point one each time. So um, I might see later if I can figure out how to change that because it's not very convenient. But so far, right now, 0.1 increments, you can just click that. It's faster to do this. For the opacity, this is specific to the raster layer. And you notice you won't see opacity on the tunes or the vector layers when it comes to erasing. You can change how see-through it is. So notice it's only erasing some of it. I can take it down a lot to 13 and it's just going to erase a little teeny bit. Um, if it's at full, it's just going to erase normally like you'd expect an eraser to erase. This is all in the normal. So type over here, this is how you're erasing, like what your eraser, this little red circle here is. This is the normal. Then you've got rectangular. And you can select a rectangle tangle and it will erase it. That's, I found this one to be not really something I use much, but in theory it could be really cool. Notice for your the rectangle for your hardness doesn't take it into account, doesn't care. Size also doesn't matter because you're tracing how big you want it. And the opacity is also ignored. So a rectangle means for that rectangle, you want it all gone. Um, freehand is kind of like a lasso tool in another program. Also, opacity, hardness, but none of those are taken into account. And you can make a really funky shape here and it'll do it. I can say I only want these two gone and it'll erase them. The polyline is similar to the freehand except you're making a shape like that. The polyline can be a bit of a pain in the butt when it comes to closing it off depending on how exact your mouse is. That's it for the types. I'm going to leave it on rectangular here because I need to to show you these two. Invert, just like it sounds, you select, it'll erase everything but. I can select pretty much everything. This only works in rectangular, freehand, and polyline. Normal will not let you use these two options. So, then you've got frame range. Now, 
I'm not sure if this is actually going to work. It's been very pesky about working on my computer. So I'm going to give it a shot. It's kind of, you select it and you select your frame range. But as I said, it's not really working on mine. And I don't know if it's because I'm doing something wrong or because it just doesn't want to work. I have gotten it to work once, I think. And when I did, it was basically, I selected, and then I selected my frame range, and I double clicked over here. But since that's not working, you're just gonna have to take my word for it. And if anyone else has a video where they've gotten it to work, or knows that I'm doing something wrong, please put it in the comments below, because it sounds like a really sweet feature that I currently cannot access. So that is it for the raster layer. We're gonna turn that off and we can turn on our Toons raster. Now Toons raster, if you haven't looked at my video for the difference in level types, I definitely would recommend you go look at it. It basically, the biggest difference between raster and Toons raster is raster remembers its colors. So if I were to change this red over here to green, everything that was red is now green. We're gonna turn that back to red just for the sake of simplicity. Actually, no, actually, blue probably would make a better simplicity. So we're gonna have that blue and that other one orange. This orange one was drawn with this style and it's gonna stay the same. So the reason that's important is because some of the features work a little differently in Toons Raster. You notice we still have size and it still behaves the exact same way as in Raster. Your hardness also behaves the same way and we already saw this rectangle freehand polyline etc but what's this mode so we have lines areas and lines and areas if you've done a lot with a vector layer you probably already know what this is the lines are anything you draw with the pencil areas are anything you fill so if you come down here i filled this circle if it's on lines I can only erase the outside line that I originally had. If it's on areas, it only erases the inside and leaves my lines. If it's on both, it'll erase anything. So I tend to leave it on lines unless I specifically want to erase the inside, which I don't actually use Toons Raster that much, so it hasn't really come up much. The reason the color thing was important is we have this option called Selective. Took me a while to figure this out. Selective means it's only gonna erase whatever style you're currently on. It'll erase the orange, because I have the orange selected, but the blue is completely safe, which can be really useful if you are in Toons Raster and you did your sketch in light blue, and you did your lines in black, but then you'll wanna erase your light blue, but it's on the same layer. You can go ahead and click whatever you wanna get rid of and just erase. Um. You notice we have invert and frame range too, and those also in here have to be on rectangle or anything. Work the same way as in the raster level. And then you also have this pencil mode. Pencil mode also stopped me for a while. You'll notice when we click pencil mode, hardness turns off. That's because pencil mode is basically anti-aliasing. And what that means is it's that softness we saw earlier with the hardness, having a really soft one, and having a really hard one, it overrides that and just gives you the hardest it can give you. Come down to the pixel, this is the equivalent of hardness set at 100. So that would be it for the Toons raster. Finally, we have the Toons vector level. Some of these work exactly the same as in the Toons raster. We've got the size thing, difference in size thing when you click, it goes up and down by 0.1. I really have to get into the code and figure out how to fix that. Um, types are exactly the same. Selective, exactly the same. The difference that you'll notice is that when you erase, it's only erasing little bubbles. That's because when you're in vector layer, it's taking into account, that's the wrong, This. it's taking into account all these little control points and it's erasing however it can while still leaving these control points either intact or creating new ones. So you can theoretically, using the eraser, actually not the theoretically, pretty uh, 
completely erase and it's going to erase the control points but you are not going to want to use unless you're erasing something really really small you're not going to want to use a smaller brush in fact I find erasing to be very uh, inconvenient when it comes to vector lines anyway I just use the edit tool with or the control point edit tool which I will get into in a different video thank you for watching this tutorial I hope you found it helpful if you liked it be sure to give me a thumbs up if you have any tutorials you'd like to see in the future be sure to leave your comments in the comment section below thanks for watching and don't forget to comment and subscribe